Hey everybody, it's Marsha Holland again. <clears throat> Listen, I've been looking at videos again. Yep, I have. I've been looking and looking and looking and learning and learning and learning. So I thought I would share a little bit. We're going to see, I'm going to do, you know how I'm always talking about these bags under my eyes and these dark little circles right here, dark areas. Not too bad, but you know, I don't like them. So you can't get rid of your bags, but you can do some little illusion tricks. So that's what I want to try to do today. Now this girl, I don't even remember her name, but uh, first thing we're going to do is a little bit of eye serum. Uh, let me tell you a little trick about eye serums. They are made for this kind of tissue here. Creepy tissue, crappy tissue, whatever you want to call it. It is not like this tissue. Yeah, it's very delicate. And so you want to be sure you're using your weak fingers when you're messing with these um, tissues here. I'm just going to go ahead and put this all over. Um, there are many, many different kinds of eye creams. The, the reason you want to use an eye cream is... It's, it's this way. Moisturizers, yes, they're wonderful. They're very good. And, and by the way, I've already done all my other skincare. I just left this little area blank here for my eye cream because the molecules in moisturizers and things are a lot bigger. And now, you know, it's not going to hurt to put it on the skin, but you're not going to get that real good, deep, deep uh, work out of it. It's just going to kind of sit on top. Does that make sense? So, eye creams are designed for eye area so yeah I'm gonna kind of let that dry for a sec <clears throat> and then I don't know if you saw my video yesterday on the jade roller well I loved it and I will use it and make it into my routine every day because it's it's a, a face mas massager but I also wanted to show you this little thing that I got from uh, actually it was in a kit what are those girls names? See, I'm doing this and I'm not even prepared. It's a little tool here that you also would keep in the freezer or refrigerator and which I didn't. I keep it over here and it's still cool, but I got me a glass of ice water. So it's been sitting in ice water all this time. Watch me spill it. Uh, okay. I don't have any place. I'm going to spill it. I'm, I nearly know it. I always knock something over. So I'm going to use this and I'm going to use it right on top of that eye cream and I'm just going to go over oh. yeah you want to go right in here especially this is where you've got some circulation blood circulates through here and you if this helps with puffiness if you're wondering what the heck I'm doing it for whoa that's cold too and that is bringing the blood up to the surface can you see that Woo! I think I will put my jade roller in some ice water instead of just keeping it in the freezer whoa yeah I can feel the blood coming up to the surface this is supposed to help with puffiness look at that it's red Woo. okay anyway how about that this is the first time I've done that so help with the puffiness I'm um, for anything that's gonna help with a cotton pick and puffiness Nothing short of surgery is going to get rid of your bags, but you can do some little, you know, illusion tricks to try to try to hide them a little bit, right? Try to make them not so uh, noticeable, right? And that's what we want to do. If I'll ever get finished doing this, this is awesome. You know, whoa, put a little bit right there. Man, that's cold. Right here, yeah, I got some bags right here. See, this happens when you start getting older. You get these little bags, and you know what happens? Everything that you have, I mean, when I say everything, I mean everything. Fall stuff. <laughs> everything. So, when you're doing your makeup, you want to make sure that you are going in an upward motion with everything, right? Upward. Okay, man, this was great. I hate to do away with this. Ah. Okay. I'll just keep it in the water until... What can I do with it to keep from knocking it over? Because I promise I will knock it over. Cross my heart. Hang on. I don't have any room for nothing. I'd be totally ashamed if you guys came and saw my makeup area. <laughs> okay. I'm a working girl. I work night shift. I don't have time to do nothing. I do good to do my makeup, right? 
Okay, so what's the next st step? Okay, so I did that. That was wonderful. Woo! Some mornings I wake up and it's just so puffy. You know, it, it's like it's worse sometimes. And other times it's not. It's crazy. Okay, so now we did the eye serum. So now I'm going to use this peach color correcting. Let me see if I can find my little chart here. Maybe. Yeah. I know you guys have all heard about the color wheel, right? Haven't you all heard about the color wheel? All right. There's a color wheel for you right there. So, you see all these purples and blues and all that good stuff? These are the colors you want to use. It'd be the opposite color of the dark area there. That's what the color wheel does. Shows you what to use. So, I'm going to use, and I've got, listen, I think I've got three or four different kinds, different shades. See, I've got the darker orange, uh, peach. I've got, this is a, where is it? by NYX. It's actually a, a clay that I have. I don't use it very often, but I've got several different things for dark circles, but I'm going to use, I think, the lighter one today. I also have this one by Maybelline. It's a, a dark circle eraser, and it's, it's okay. Nothing fantastic, but I'm going to use this, and what I'm going to do is you see the little dark area right here. That's where I'm going to put the peach I can see what I'm doing. Let's do the dark area. Not on the bag. I'm just doing the dark dark circle area. Well, maybe I should do one side and let you see. Weak finger again. And just tapping that in. Tap, 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 tap that in. Okay, don't forget to do the other side. Okay, so now I'm going to use, I'm getting my little brush. Um, I'm gonna use a, another concealer that's gonna go on the bag. Uh, I'm gonna use the lightest, let's see, wait a minute. That's not very light. Oh, we're supposed to use the lightest. Maybe I can use this other one. Wait, hang on, I'm changing my mind changing my mind it says use the lightest one so let's use the lightest one it's terrible to get old because then you get blind you can't see nothing okay so now i'm going to do i made myself some notes i am going to go on the bag itself with this one Just gonna go up here. You can use a brush. I had intended on using another. But here, I'll go ahead and use a brush to blend it out. Very gentle though. Very, very gentle on that bag. It's got enough problems, guys. <laughs> okay. Then what did she do? I think I've done some, this to some degree. I've done this myself already practically every day, but this is just a little bit different order that she does it. Okay. Okay, so she said, look down. And you can see it, right? And I've already made a mistake. Don't blend it, she says. <laughs> okay, I don't know why you don't want to blend it, but don't blend it. So we'll do it again. Okay. I'm going to add a little more peach because, boy, look, when you look down, whoo, now when you look up, it goes away. I always walk around like this all the time. <laughs> That'd look funny. So look down. We're going to color my circle a little more. Okay. <sighs> okay we go through, man. Us women, the things we go through. Okay, so now we're going to do the light color concealer, and we're going to do that triangle. The triangle that everybody does. I'm going to use my light concealer here. 
and we're just going to make, we're going to fill it in too. See what I'm doing? Then we're going to blend it with a beauty blender. This is a dry one. And she also said she's barely touching and she is ever so lightly with it because she does not want to blend away what's underneath, right? So, made sense. So, we're just tapping. She also said take your time with it, which I don't ever have time. <laughs> now, if you are mature, don't pull on your skin, but you can kind of hold your skin right there and you can see those little lines in there. So we just want to make sure everything is where it's supposed to be, right? Okay, so we brightened it up a little bit. See there? So let me go ahead and do the other side before I forget, man. So let's do the peach. Okay, then what would we do? Then we did this on the bag, barely touching. You can actually use a lighter color concealer. Okay. Well, I hope it looks as good as hers did, but let me tell you about hers. She looked like she might have been 30. <laughs> Maybe 30. Alright, we'll see. Get myself together here. Gonna do our little triangle. We're gonna fill it in. I think for my eyeshadows today, I'm gonna do some brown tones. Also gonna set this with some powder too, some translucent powder. And I think today I'm not really gonna use a foundation. Uh, it's a five-in-one thing I found. I can't remember even where I found it, but it's a little tool that's supposed to be concealer, supposed to be foundation. I don't know. I don't even remember where I got it now. But I think doing all of this, I'm not gonna do a lot of foundation. Barely touching. Do I look a little better? I hope. Okay, so here's this. It's another twisty thing. I must like twisty things. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Forgot to do the translucent powder. And we're just going to get a different brush here. Pick my brush out, so let's see. We'll do this one. Just a translucent powder. And she said also with this, do not stroke it or drag it. We are tapping. Tapping, tapping, because we don't want to blend out what we've done. Makes sense. But for us older girls, you do have to be careful that what you put up in here, because it will cake. So, because we're blessed with all those beauty wrinkles. <laughs> okay. You can use an eye powder, or you can use, she said you could use a, a just a regular translucent powder and this is a translucent powder it is tinted so I'm gonna go over it it'll look better when I go over with the other stuff okie dokie now we'll do whatever you call this little thing it's called it's from julep julep I don't know 
where I got it. I don't remember. Probably shouldn't be using it since I don't remember. But you could probably shoot it. Wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't on Amazon. Right? Isn't everything on Amazon? Pretty good coverage. If you don't want to do a whole bunch. Oops. I really like these fat blending buds, man. <laughs> you know what they are actually, though? They're actually a body blending bud, I think. I think. Body blending bud. Tap, tap, tap. I like to twist and tap. Twist and tap. I am in Texas, guys, and let me tell you something. It is 50 something degrees here and rainy. I think I am. I'll put a little bit. Yeah, it's cold for us. See, I got glue on my eyelashes there. Can you see that? Oh, that's from doing my eye false eyelashes. Gotta be careful with that, girls. Pull your eyelashes out. Ooh. Okay, let me pause the video because I gotta get that off my eyelash. Driving me crazy. Can't get to it. Hang on. Okay. I think I got it. Yeah, and it was just on this eye. This is my problem eye. So I would expect any issues going on is going to be on that eye. Alright. Pretty stinking good coverage for what I did. Now we're going to use a different color translucent. <clears throat> it's more of my natural color. We're almost ready for the eyes. Yeah. Just going to tap. Tap and blend. If you get a good translucent powder, you know you can actually use it as a foundation. This is tinted. So I could actually use it by itself. If you take care of your skin, you can do stuff like that. All right. Now, I want to use my little uh, buffer brush just to make sure nothing is in my little deep crevices. And I think I'm good. I think I am good. Dark circles aren't quite so noticeable. You can still see them right there, but I'm not going to go around looking like that. So let's do some blush. Do I want to do some, excuse me, pardon me. Do I want to do some highlighter. I'm going to get brave and use this highlighter, which is actually for your eyes, but I'm going to barely use it right here because it is potent. Potent. Look at that. I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm getting ready to go to work. I have to work the next three nights. Yeah. Next three nights. Three. Next three nights. 
Let's do some color in my cheeks. You know, when you get older, you lose all your color. And also, I think once you get over, like, maybe, I don't know, 55, maybe, I don't know, you shouldn't put this on your apples. I heard a makeup artist say to, you want to make sure everybody's looking up, not looking down. So we want to go up, and I'll blend. I'm on the cheekbone, but I'm staying away from my apple. Not going to contour. I don't do a whole lot of contouring. Yes. Especially since I'm just going to work. And I'm going to blend that in a little. Just around those harsh lines. Okay. If I were going to contour, it'd be right here. Okay, I have a tendency to blend out my blush. Okie doke. I'm going to do something exciting. I watched some other videos about brightening up your eyes and making your eyes look bigger. And so, one of the things, guess what they said, besides, you know, everybody knows you can use white or nude in the eye, I might do that too. The white or the nude in your uh, tear line that opens up your eyes. Well, this one I watched said glitter underneath here brightens up your eyes. So you bet this mama's going to do the glitter because you know, you know me, you know I love glitter. Ugh, I'm way behind times, but I love glitter. Usually by the time I learn to do something, it's going out of style. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. Alright, I'll go ahead and do my I'll do this. I'm going to use this concealer as a primer. I'm going to do that before I do my brows. I'm going to use my finger. The warmth of your finger will warm up the product and make it really go on smooth. And you don't want to overdo... I'm the overdue queen. Yes, I am. I'm the overdue queen. If you're watching me, thank you so much for watching. If you know someone that is older, you think would enjoy watching an older person do makeup, send them my way. Share my video. All right. Now you could set this with some powder, the primer. You could, but I don't know. I feel like using the powdered, um, the powdered shadows that kind of does the same thing, don't you think? Kind of, kind of use. A little bit. I'll get, I'll get it out in a minute. The powder kind of sets the primer. I'll get it out. <laughs> uh, tongue tied. All right, I wasn't going to do much on my brows, but I do see something I need to handle here. And I'm going to use this clip pin here. We're going to shape it a little bit, and then I'm going to use some brow powder on it. But I am going to just do a little bit of shaping. I wasn't going to. Hey. We're women, we can change our mind, right? Just gonna do a little. And you know my little pattern that I use? I don't really need to do it anymore. Once you learn, and once you've done it a lot, you know, you don't have to anymore. I'll show you though. Use your spoolie to blend out the product. pattern I use is this, where my tail would start, where the peak should be, where the tail ends. It's real easy. And you know that's all I'm going to do. 
So let's get this one shaped. FYI, I put all my videos on my YouTube. My YouTube is not fancy, it's not glamorous, it's not full of graphics and all that fancy stuff. It's just my videos. I'm asked a lot what app I use for my videos when I'm posting them like this with a little collage. Uh, it's called VidStitch Pro. And as many times if I've, as I have said that, I should get a cotton picking bonus or something from. <laughs> You'd think. Uh, my brows are not alike. Never gonna be, never were. Just in case, give you something to think about. If you're like me, I have one brow higher than the other. And by the way, you can use concealer, you can use your foundation to clean that up if you want to. I'm just using a Q-tip. Um, I sleep mostly on my left side, and so as a result, I think that is why my eyebrow is higher than the other. Yeah, my eyes are starting to water, so hang on. I forgot my eye drops. Be no good once I get my makeup on. What was I doing? Lots of brain tubes when you get older, too. Okay, let's do a little bit of brow, brow ink, brow powder. There's so much stuff that brows are really in today. This is a brow ink, but I'm going to use it like sideways, like this, because I'm going to try not to put buku's. Just gives it a little more color, helps fill in. <sighs> okay, so use that with that. I was so good, I got all my little tools out ahead of time, hopefully. Use a white, my other water, and I don't even know if this is going to take. That is the main reason I use waterproof stuff. Waterproof, smudge proof. I don't think you're supposed to do that. Okay, there's the white. There's the white. Now we're going to use, I chose to use the Steam by NYX palette. We're going to try to do, we're going to try our best to do brown tones today. You know how I am though. I love color. I think I'm good there. I love color. So we're going to use, uh, I'm going to use this white, believe it or not, and I'm just going to use that like as the foundation all over color. I hope we're not in any kind of weather alert. Flooding is our main thing. <sighs> Sometimes when it starts raining like this and it continues to rain, we have ditches in the front of our house. Even though it's a residential street, we have ditches, not curbs. And people don't clean their ditches out. What is the matter with them? 
there's several rent houses here and I, I really am not saying anything against renters but I really think it seems like they those houses are the ones that need their ditches cleaned out more or I tell you what if your house is ever flooded you clean those ditches <laughs> scary okay that was just an overall color now I think uh, I think I'll use this pretty shimmer color right there yeah just on the lid just on the lid they say shimmer opens up your eyes too a light a light shimmer it's pretty light because I said I was going to go brown tones. This is kind of in the family anyway. We all like big eyes, right? Big eyes are pretty. And I'm just going all over my lid using a flat, dense brush. This video is a little bit longer, I'm afraid, because I'm doing so much more. You know, instead of, I, I might have, I should have maybe split it up, but. Okay. There we go. All the way up to the crease with it. Okay. I feel like I've got something in my eye. It's probably white eyeliner. <sighs> okay, so this is kind. Of, this is a fluffy brush, but it's kind of a a stiff type, more dense fluffy brush. So now we're going to use a, a brow bone color here. I think I will use this as the on the brow bone. And you know me. If you watch me at all, you know I'm liable to say something and do something completely different. Yeah, that's going to be dark enough. Ooh, that is a pretty big mint bed. Okay, we need another brush. I got to fix that. I got to fix it. I washed my brushes and I didn't do them till late this morning. So they're wet. You know, if you use wet brushes, um, your colors will even be darker. So <laughs> we don't want to use a wet brush on this, that's for sure. We'll fix it. You know, it's not the end of the world if you make a mistake. You know that, right? You can fix makeup. Most of the time. <laughs> Most of the time. Now, no more product on this brush. This is just, woo! Steam by NYX. Going above my um, crease because the hooded eye deal, I got to do a little bit of a, some illusions here. Blending is your key. You want to make sure that you're blending, blending, blending. If you blend out, you can always add more, but just blend. I'm going to add some more of that color there because I got a little careless right here. See, you can fix it. Weeping eyes, man. Weeping eyes. Stop it. Okay. Now, one more. This is a really flat, dense brush here. I'm going to use this color right here for the dimension color. Be careful because it's going to be pigmented too. 
and I'm just going to touch it in the outer corner. Just doing a little tapping. And then going up, I'm going up towards, I want to find that bone there. Going over that other, out towards the brow. Not going to go all the way across with this one, just about halfway. We're going to blend some more. Yeah. Oh, I don't think I told you my YouTube. It's Glam Mammal. Glam, G-L-A-M, Mammal, M-A-M-A-W, Mammal. I am a mammal. In fact, I have nine I have nine perfect grandchildren. And I have, get this, I have 11, 11 great-grandchildren that are adorable. So we're going to blend that a little bit now. The last thing I'd usually do when I'm doing my shadows is accenting the brow. Because it, what it does is it opens up your arch, makes your arch look a little, you know, more archy. So if you don't have an arch... Try highlighting that brow bone up here. Don't be afraid to use your finger. Okay, now. And I'm going to put the glitter down here, too. I don't know if I should do it first and let it dry, then put the dark. Let's see. I don't know. Let's, while I'm thinking about it, let's do the, what I was talking about, opening up your arch. <clears throat> right up here. Right in that little space. Kind of down a little bit. So it's a highlighter you want to use there. So when the light hits it, it will give the illusion of a, of a better arch. I am going to do lashes again today. I'm kind of getting used to it. Practice, practice, practice. There's going to be good days and bad days with that. Oh, my goodness. Water, water, water. Such allergies around where I live. All right, putting your highlighter here in your tear duct area. Not in that tear duct, but in the tear duct area also helps open up your eyes. And I also like to do it just a little right here. Usually I do it after I do the eyeliner. Yes, I got something in my eye. I don't know what the heck it is. Feels like shadow. I've probably got shadow in my eye.
take your time on this part. I find that things all take shape. Excuse me a minute. Turn your head. Things all take shape whenever you start putting the eyeliner and stuff on. So you'll see. So let's get a little glitter. We're going to try the glitter first. This is by Styla. This is liquid glitter. It's in a color, gold type color. I'm going to use a brush because they said use a brush. You know, there's so many things that it's good to follow directions, but then after you've done it a little while, if you can come up with something better, do it. Now, I have usually, I would put glitter under the eyeliner and just kind of go up, but they're talking about just under your eyelid, like under your eyelashes there. I just got it on my cheek. This is very nice uh, glitter. The liquid glitter is pretty cool. What did I do with my cute tip? Um. As you can see, I'm going to let that dry. You probably can't really even tell. We're going to see. I'm going to let it dry and then I'm going to put a little bit of liner there. I think what I want to do today is I'm going to use, instead of using my NYX, I'm going to try this. This is IT Cosmetics liner and let me tell you. <laughs> It's not, you don't sharpen it. <laughs> you see how mine is all screwed up? <laughs> you don't sharpen it. No. Most of mine you can sharpen. This one I thought you could sharpen, but it's a twist up. So I kind of ruined it. Now, it's supposed to be waterproof, so man, I'm going to need waterproof the way my eyes, it's not even going to go on. Wait, hang on. Huh. Shame on you, it. Well, let's just go ahead and use my gel eyeliner, huh? Oops. <gasps> Dropped it. I'll just use my, my NYX gel. Eyeliner. Where's my eyeliner brush? I didn't see that coming, so I'll use this one. I can't use liquids because, you remember me talking about all the thin tissues there? I can't use liquids because the liquid bleeds up in there. I don't care if it's $40 mascara or if it's $5 mascara. If it's liquid, I can't use it. I've used this quite a bit. I've used my brow wax quite a bit. Those work. What is that? Get up there. See, it's starting to take shape. Oh, blob on there. Using eyeliner gives me um, a 
guideline. It's a guideline for me to use uh, when I use, let me speak, for my lashes to sit on. Yeah, I'll get it out. Just for my lashes to sit on. Okay, now we're going to use a different eyeliner. I'm going to tight line. I guess that's sharp enough. I'm so blind. I can't see nothing. When I tight line, I try my best to stay away from the eyeball. I aim more towards the lashes. Okay. I think what I'm going to do, I think my glitter has dried, so I'm going to use... Is that brush I used for my shadow? Mm, I'll put that dark. I'll watch. Last minute thought. Meeting that little cattail there. You can still see the glitter. I don't know if you can see it, but I can see it. Okay. Let's do some mascara. Today's mascara is from, oh, uh, what is it? Thrive Cosmetics, I think. Got it online. <coughs> Excuse me. It's probably about dry, too. So we're going to put it all over. See if I can cover up the white I put on my lashes. I got kind of crazy there. Always get it everywhere. Doing pretty good so far. Woo, I got a lot of white on this one. Hang on, I got that in my eyeball. What do you think about the glitter? Can you even see it? I'm going to do, look at me. I'm remembering to do the mascara on my lashes, real lashes, before I do the false eyelashes. In my opinion, it gives those lashes something to more more secure to sit on. I will put you on hold while I do the glue. I'm gonna let my glue sit for about 30 seconds. So we don't want to sit and count 30 seconds, do we? Oh. Okay. What do you think about the brown? I didn't do the real light there like I usually do because I thought it was light enough. Okay. So I'm going to put you on hold. And we'll do the glue and I'll be back. Okay. I think you're back. Okay, put a little lip color on because that's pretty washed out. These lashes are Wispies from Walmart. 
They are Kiss. Uh, I love the Wispies. They're very light, and, and if you're learning how to do it, these are an excellent one, excellent training lash. The glue I use is a latex-free glue. It's also by Kiss. It has some aloe, aloe vera in it, so I got that at Walmart. You can also get uh, latex-free on Amazon. So here we go. I hope I got the right lash. Golly. Why is it they always look... Put the left on the left and the right on the right and then when I get ready to do it I get confused this little tool I love this little tool I tell everybody about it it's one of the things that helps me I put my lash right in the center and then I aim for the center and then do the kind of twist my wrist up a little bit and then I do the ends after I get it pushed down on the center the only thing is when you get glue on it this is what happens shoot <laughs> Keep it clean. See, you learned something there. Keep your tool clean. Okay, I'll try it again. Push them in. And look what else. Save your sandwich sticks. Yeah. Got an awesome sandwich. If you want to know the truth, I ordered the sandwich to get the stick. <laughs> okay, we're going to let that sit and dry. Now let's do the other one. Right in the center. Look down into a mirror too. So I'm going in for the landing here and I'm going to kind of twist my wrist up a little bit. And listen. If you're struggling with lashes, stick with it. I'm living proof it gets easier. Also, a little trick that I do is, well, that's my glitter. I thought my eyes were watering. Uh, one little trick I do touch up my eyeliner after the glue dries. There you go. I hope you enjoyed my video today and I hope you got something out of it like I got something out of it when I looked at other people's videos. So live and learn, huh? Live and learn. This is the brown tones. Let's do brown. And my bags don't look quite as bad. I could go around like this all the time and it looks pretty smooth. Okay, Marsha Holland, look me up. I have a YouTube Glam Mama, G L A M M A W A W M A M A W. I can't spell. Anyway, thank you for coming to visit. I love you. Bye. If you have any questions, put them in comments. I always answer my comments. Bye.